Welcome back, everyone, to Tech Tuesdays. Kevin Hunter, Kyle Torgerson here at the broadcast desk on North Coast Digital News, and Harry Brailsford, of course, joining us remotely as always. We've got a lot of good stuff on the show today. Uh, Harry, uh, tell our viewing audience what's up here on Tech no. Tuesday. All right. Well, before we get into the good stuff, I do want to remind people it is April 30th, the end of the month. So do you know where your earnings are? <laughs> <laughs> you, you should. Yes. Kids, kids may not get that reference, Kevin. In our generation, there was, what was the TV news? It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so young people like Kyle won't understand that. But Kyle, I think you get it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kevin, you know, interesting uh, show today because I, I was looking at my calendar. Essentially, we're nine months into Tech Tuesday, and, you know, I kind of decided that let's start to take uh, a little bit different approach um, and bring in some industry guests. You know, quite frankly, much like we did with some of the live broadcast from the uh, conferences that we attended together, Absolutely. like Smartsheet. Yep. And we need to do more of that. But um, so I have Rami from Tech Reputation, and I'll bring him in in a moment. But let me kind of set the table uh, for those that might be new to this show, new to this network. Um, Tech Tuesday is uh, part of Northwest Digital News, and, and we tend to view Northwest Digital News with Kevin and Kyle as a B2B um, broadcast entity, a B2C broadcast entity, and SMB Nation is a slightly different audience. We are the managed services providers, the computer guys and gals. And in the real world, they're called channel partners. And so your audience, Kevin, the architect, the lawyer, the accountant, is going to have, um, and again, forget, forgive the gender reference, but they're going to have the computer guy. Right. And that's our audience. And so with no further ado, I want to bring in Rami from the Pacific Northwest in Anacortes, Washington. So Rami, I want to turn, first of all, uh, thank you for joining us. And... I want to turn the time clock back so people get perspective. So you are a current or former computer guy, and then you found out how to serve computer guys. Let's talk about that. Thanks for the invitation, Harry. It's nice to be here. In fact, uh, I'm uh, one of your previous customers from many, many years ago, back when they printed books. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my career is uh, kind of half and half marketing and sales and carrying a bag and doing computer repair and break and fix out in the, the trenches, so to speak. And I worked back before they called the uh, uh, businesses MSPs. They were called system integrators back then. Yep. And um, so that's kind of a little bit of my background. Seven years ago, I purchased a break fix computer shop in uh, Oak Harbor, Washington. Yep, yep. And uh, despite my uh, due diligence, found out going in oh, a few months that the, the shop just didn't have quite the reputation it was supposed to have had. Mm -hmm. And this was, uh, this was before there was a lot of ways to find you know, reviews online. They just weren't out there yet. Google wasn't big into reviews. Yelp wasn't out yet. Um, or else, actually, Yelp was maybe just getting started up there, just doing restaurants. <laughs> and Amazon was just doing books. And uh, so I needed to make some changes and fast. And so what I did is I, mm -hmm. I utilized a service that wasn't really quite designed for my type of business, but it tied into QuickBooks and was automated enough to where I could get good reviews. Okay. And so my goal was get as many good reviews as I could so I could turn that shop around. And uh, we, did, we did it. And in the next year, we tripled sales from the previous owner and uh, changed the business name. And we had a great, great turnaround yep. from using reviews, customer reviews. Mm -hmm. And, and if, Rami, if you don't mind, I, I want to talk about the power of reviews. As, as everybody on stage, as a word knows, I'm involved and have been involved in some startups. And one of our startups was, uh, it, it, it didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, welcome to the big leaks. But it was called Cloud Nation in 2011. And Rami, one of our big pushes was reviews of emerging cloud technologies. And here's why. 
it's really good for driving traffic because you have user-generated content that's unique, so you're not getting the Google double penalty. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also scalable, right? Because I don't have right. to type every blog, right? So right. the customers are creating the content and it's highly searchable. And hopefully it's highly favorable, but you know what? As they say, any news is good news. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, so Rami, if you don't mind, uh, with that background, um, tell us uh, that you took this, what, would, would you call it a customer satisfaction surveying tool? You, 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 you took it to another level because now you offer this service, right? <laughs> well, for it was a closed system and that was a, the only negative about it. It didn't expose the reviews to your website and let you push them out to Google and so forth. So I dropped it for a while and then as uh, things began to change online as I was doing research, I found that there was more opportunities out there for software that was coming out and making it available to, to satisfy Google's need for more reviews and to satisfy the consumers that were using and relying upon reviews to make their decisions for purchasing services and products. So um, I found a, a solution that not only helped with managing and um, securing more reviews, but also helped with the management of all the directories out there hmm. where your business information and reviews can exist. Because there's no way to, to manage that on a daily basis. So the reputation management is, is what I'm hearing. Reputation management and local SEO. Local yeah. SEO with Google Maps. And the the combination of reviews and uh, citations from these directories is 25% of the ranking algorithm for your position. Wow. It's mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like well, I'm going like, to sign up. I'm going to sign up later today for your service, brother. <laughs> well, do you have a credit card number now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll accept it right here on the on the show. No, right. but, but please continue. We, um, Kevin and I. Kevin has an analytics background. Rami, you and I talked a few weeks ago, and so continue down that rabbit hole. That's very interesting. <laughs> What what my job is now is to convince IT business owners that these three stats are going to affect their bottom line. Nine out of ten of 18 to 34-year-old consumers trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations. Yep. Mm -hmm. Consumers read an average of 10 online reviews before feeling able to trust a local business. 57% yep. of consumers will only use a business if it has four or more stars. There's yep. There's... There's tons more stats like that. Um, so that's my job. I got to convince them that, hey, y your reviews affect your bottom line, definitely. And so I went to my roots and, just, and, and figured out, you know, what are, the, what, what are the top three problems that IT m business owners face when getting reviews? What, what holds them back? And the number one reason is time. Mm -hmm. they don't, they're, they're too busy responding to fires and taking care of customers. It's just one more thing. It's not part of their, their marketing plan. They don't, mm -hmm. they don't know how important it is. And uh, the third reason is they're just nervous about asking every single customer mm -hmm. when they shouldn't be. You, you know, there's a point that you made in here, Rami, about even the, one of the lines was, uh, will not visit uh, places of business uh, below four stars. It's kind of an interesting thing because in the area that we're at and with all the electronics and everything that we use for our broadcast, even in looking up um, other pieces of equipment or new ways to uh, make our broadcast even better. Um, I, w when I'm looking for referrals on um, electronic equipment for our broadcast and even trying new things, and I'm in a position where obviously we could try things, send them back, whatever, but I don't even want to try them because I know I'm gonna send them back if it's not at least four and a half stars. So there's a lot of validity to how important that high rating is and the number of stars you're getting on reviews from anybody on your product. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Anything, anything below four is just kind of subpar, you know, <laughs> our average. Mm -hmm. well, well, gentlemen, if, if you don't mind, uh, Rami, I'm gonna 
keep, I'm, I'm going to hand you off to Kevin and Kyle. I have to start a forward motion to, to get out to Chicago for the Channel Pro event that we discussed last week on Tech Tuesday. So um, I, I hope you'll forgive me, but, but Rami, I assure you, you're in good hands to do a double click down into your solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Harry. And we look forward to uh, connecting uh, with you uh, at the event in Chicago. So, All right. Have a nice week. Thank you, gents. All right. See you later. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the, uh, the fact that uh, consumers, nine out of 10 consumers trust online reviews. This actually, um, when people think, you know, that's a 90% crowd, um, that actually is indicative of what percent of the population in any devel developed area of the world is relying on the internet for its news, information, education, etc. So it makes perfect sense that 90% of the people would be relying on an online review and trusting that before they proceed. Just, yeah, great stuff. And it's t and it's telling us that word of mouth is changing too over the past mm -hmm. few years. Um, it used to be you would call up a colleague to see what kind of hardware maybe you'd want to try out. Mm -hmm. Now, now you go online, or your your answer is in your pocket in your phone. Mm -hmm. You know, computer computer repair near me, and then one of the, they pick one of the top three on the maps that have the most reviews, and then they pick up the phone and they click a button, and they're instantly connected. That's the new shopping. One of the components that you have here, and for those of uh, our, our viewers who are following us, you can go to techreputation.com to find the information that we're referring to. And Kyle has included that on the a stream here for us. Talk a little bit about intercepting negative reviews because this uh, there's some people, um, whether they have a issue with a given uh, place of business, um, sometimes it can be politically motivated, there can be a number of different reasons, but there are some places that are actually sabotaged by others deliberately with this negative review process. And I'm really, I'm, I'm really curious if you can speak a little bit about the interception process and, and how you can help maybe turn that so-called negative situation into a positive situation and how Tech Reputation does that. Well, we've had to make some changes because Google made some changes. Mm -hmm. Google doesn't allow what's called review gating. And basically what that means is if a if a negative review comes in, you got to pass it through and let it go let it go publicly to Google. Mm -hmm. It used to be that we could to redirect the person to a landing page with a form on it saying, you know, where did we fall short in serving you mm -hmm. and try to try to help resolve the issue there before it got published publicly. Sure. But today um, the review gating is is do at your own risk because Google can see that you're doing that and what they will do and it's been proven to do is remove your reviews from your site from this, their site. Got it. So you have to be very 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 um, careful in deciding whether or not we do you know provide the the option to do so, but you know there there are um, risks involved. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I, I, I want to, for the benefit of our viewers, I'm looking at uh, three different packages that are available here through Tech Reputation. There's a bronze, a silver, and a gold. These are actually very inexpensive packages for, for anybody who understands the importance of uh, maintaining and, and being on top of uh, the, those reviews that are talking. So if you would, go into a little bit into each of the uh, bronze, silver, and gold packages and, and really what's offered to the business um, sure. through those three? The bronze is designed for the one-man shop, has mm -hmm. doesn't have any employees working himself, and exports the customers from whatever system he's using to keep track of jobs and, and then imports them into ours. Mm -hmm. So that's more of the manual, manual way of doing things. Mm -hmm. When I designed this system to work with IT companies, um, I wanted to tie it into software that they're using now. And so that's the, the silver package. Mm -hmm. So for an extra $20 a month, well, when you close a trouble ticket, it will automatically talk to Tech Reputation, and then Tech Reputation will send out that email or a text message requesting a review automatically. Mm -hmm. That's the middle package. 
the gold package has everything that I just talked about from the silver with the addition of all the online review directories where in the same dashboard you enter your business information once, your address, your hours of operation, videos, uh, pictures, and we push it out to all the directories that are that are important in Google's eyes. Mm -hmm. So it's a great time saver. It also helps you stay on top of your review. It's like having you know hundreds of phone books out there where you can have uh, your business information and places for people to to write reviews. Mm -hmm. And if you need to make changes to your um, listing, for example, holiday hours. You make the change once in the dashboard, and we push it out and synchronize it to all those sites. So it's a back-end API thing versus going and logging into each one manually. Very nice. So you can really manage all of those different platforms from one place. And because all those platforms is tied in so closely with reviews on local SEO, I'm really in the reputation management slash local SEO business because they're they're so intertwined and 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 as part of the as I mentioned earlier the Google algorithm as far mm -hmm. as for ranking for sites and, and the local maps. Mm -hmm. So for people that have any questions or, or sometimes even in using a new software platform you wonder you know is this going to work for us or how does this process work you actually have a 14-day free trial that's connected to each of these packages. 14-day <clears throat> free trial 30-day money-back guarantee you're dealing with somebody that's, you know, fellow IT owner. I understand your business like no other, and I help personally set up the system so that you get all the settings correctly for your business and uh, all the setups done so, uh, together so that it's done right the first time. I'm curious from your perspective, having done this, when you mentioned that you're really in the reputation and SEO management type business, you've had to learn a lot about Google and Google al algorithms. I'm curious even from a SEO standpoint, um, any thoughts from your perspective as to some of the key mistakes that, that businesses are making relative to SEO or relative to reputation, key mistakes that you see they're making in managing um, their uh, online visibility? Because a lot of, lot, even major companies, many major companies really underestimate how important this is. Just, just kind of burying their heads in the sand. Sorry to say mm -hmm. about these citation sites, these directories. Um, you know, the one way for Google to judge or figure out if a business is trustworthy is if all the information is correct out on mm -hmm. the internet. Mm -hmm. And the tests that I run, I have a, a way of looking at a company's presence through all the directories, and the reports I run are consistently no information or old addresses, um, different phone numbers, and that just confuses Google. Mm -hmm. So to get back to your question, just you know, just being apathetic about about the online directories in, in general is, mm -hmm. is a, the biggest thing I see. Well, great information, and I hope our viewers uh, take this stuff uh, seriously. Um, thanks for the time, Rami, today to talk about this. And for anybody in our viewing audience, if you have questions, uh, Kyle has shown the website here on the back. Um, techreputation.com is the website. You can also call a number. I'll give it here for you. 360-320-8748. Again, 360-320-8748. You can call that and get a live demo on uh, Tech Reputation. But That's right. Having, having this being uh, m my sector in completely different uh, pieces, but I understand 100% of what you're talking about, Rami. Um, I hope our viewing audience takes this very, very seriously because uh, this can be a game changer um, for businesses today where so many people are, are going online now for their, their business choices. And, and you mentioned the stat about nine out of 10 trust online reviews. Many people don't visit places that have less than a four star uh, review. And many people read four or more reviews before they get into this. If you aren't taking this seriously, um, at some point, you're just gonna be faced with closing the doors on the business because that is the reality of what's coming when you're not managing your online reputation. So great stuff. 
glad you put together this uh, package and hey, thanks for making this uh, so affordable for everybody. That was another one of my goals. Integrate it with software that they're using, save them time, and make it affordable to any size company, any size IT business. All right, our guest here on Tech Tuesday has been Rami from Tech Reputation. Again, you can find him at techreputation.com. Thanks to everybody who joined us here on the broadcast. On behalf of uh, ourselves here at North Asia News, Kevin Hunter and Kyle Torgerson, thanks to Rami for joining us here on Tech Tuesday. Take care, everyone. This concludes today's live programming on Northwest Digital News. Thanks for joining us for this special broadcast. Heard around the world in more than 70 countries on YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, and Twitch TV. If you enjoyed a story or guest we had here on Northwest Digital News and would like to strut your stuff on the broadcast, email us today at wainfo2017 at gmail.com or call or text 360-545-3501. We're always interested in unique stories, topics, and guests to share with our worldwide audience. Before you go, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and comment on the live stream. And for those of you who'd like to financially support the broadcast, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Northwest Digital News. We thank you for your patronage. On behalf of Chris Bornstead, Kyle Torgerson, Stephanie Hunter, and all the people that made this broadcast possible, I'm Kevin Hunter. Till next time, take care.